Hey guys, this is my cat Cosmo and she is shedding like crazy guys. She has literally a big ball of hair and it's just a streak of hair coming off. So I'm gonna try and put her down. I'm gonna go over there, go. Today, we're gonna be talking about a couple of ways that you can utilize to slow down the battery degradation on your 2024 Tesla Model 3 performance. First, I wanted to thank my first Patreon, Jeff, for joining my brand new Patreon that I just launched. And for those who don't know, I've actually been unemployed for about two months. I was impacted by a layoff. And I created the Patreon just for a little extra income to help me with my finances while creating content as a small time creator. So if you enjoy the content on this channel and maybe you are a new subscriber or maybe someone just passing by, definitely check out my content. I have some pretty quality videos and I have some awesome stuff coming up on my roadmap. And if you are subscribed, definitely consider checking out the Patreon. You get a shout out on every video and you also get private access to my Discord community where you can interact with me or message me privately with questions that you have about your Tesla, or maybe you're even taking delivery of a new Tesla and you have questions. I can definitely help answer those. So I'd highly appreciate it if you check out my Patreon. Thanks in advance. So first thing is around your daily charge limit. Tesla has laid out some guidelines that you can utilize to ensure that your daily charge limit is 80%. And it's important that you stick with this daily charge limit because if you exceed the daily charge limit, say you do 100% every day, then it's gonna degrade your battery faster. This guideline is designed to balance the needs of daily driving with long-term battery health. Charging to 100% should only be reserved for longer trips where you need the extra charge. And charging to full capacity can actually accelerate the battery degradation over time. By keeping your daily charge at or below 80%, you're minimizing the stress on the battery, which can help maintain its performance and longevity. The next thing is around supercharging. To preserve the long-term health of Tesla's battery, it's wise to limit the use of supercharging sessions and reserve them for situations where they're absolutely necessary. Supercharging rapidly charges your battery, which is convenient for road trips or when you're in a pinch, but frequent use can generate excess heat and stress leading to accelerated battery wear over time. Instead, you definitely should consider a level one or a level two charger, ideally a charger that you can use at home. So the next thing is for all of you track junkies out there. Tracking an electric car is pretty different from tracking like a gas car, but the main thing you need to know is when you're tracking an electric car, you're putting stress on the battery cells because you're using the car's maximum power output, especially in high power and high demand situations like driving your car at 150 miles per hour, for example, or just doing drag tests for extended periods of times like, qu like quarter mile, half mile, and just traditional track driving. So although it's fun, you definitely wanna limit those types of sessions with this car because it does put unnecessary wear and tear on the battery cells. So try to limit frequent tracking of your Tesla Model 3 performance. Tracking your EV puts the battery under significant stress due to high performance demands, which can lead to faster wear and tear. The intense acceleration, high speeds, and rapid deceleration during track sessions generate heat and strain on the battery, which over time can reduce its overall lifespan and efficiency. To maintain the battery's health and longevity, reserve track days for special occasions and focus on regular driving conditions to keep your Model 3 performance at its best. So the last thing is around keeping your battery above 20%. When you're owning a Tesla, you definitely wanna keep your battery above 20% and you don't wanna discharge it so quickly either. Likewise, if you're at a supercharging session and you go from, let's just say, 1% to 80%, this degrades the battery quicker. Consistently maintaining your Tesla's battery within a mid-range level charge, ideally between 20% and 80%, can significantly help in prolonging its lifespan. When the battery is allowed to drop too low, it experiences more stress during recharging, which over time can degrade its capacity and efficiency. By keeping the battery in a stable mid-range state, you reduce the strain on the battery cells, helping to preserve its long-term health and ensuring that your Model 3 performance remains efficient and reliable for years to come. 
Additionally, charging habits that avoid extremes, neither letting the battery deplete too much nor charging to 100% regularly are key to maximizing battery longevity. So that is the video. If you enjoyed this video and you thought the tips were helpful, feel free to just leave a quick like. Also, if you have a tip or if there's anything I missed in this video, feel free to just leave a quick comment below. I also make two Tesla videos per week and I have a plethora of content coming up and also currently in the works. So if you'd like to see more content like this, feel free to just hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So with that, thank you for watching. My name is Ben John with Viper Productions and I'll see you in the next video.